My name is Kay Ellingson, and I'm president of the Daughters of Norway Agnes Vergeland Lodge that meets here in Fletchell Hall. And I brought my costume today. It's the Nordland costume. It's from, as we say, Nordland, but this, I'm, my family is from Tromsø. And there are many different kinds of costumes in Norway. They are all regional. So each costume has specific designs and they all look different. There are some that are very loose, and, but this one is very ornate. It has embroidery all along the bottom, and it has embroidery on the vest in the back and in the front. And as you can see, the purse that comes with it also has embroidery, and it has silver uh, overlay on it on the top. This buna also comes in a green color, and I'm told that the blue is for fishing and the green is for farming, but I don't think it really makes much difference. And it's made with blue wool, as you can see, and it has an apron covering it with a purse, and the vest part is connected to the skirt, and it's handmade embroidery and it takes a long time to get this made. It took a year for me to get my costume after I ordered it, and it cost $2,500 back in 1998. Each girl is given a costume usually. It's either made by a family member, or nowadays it usually comes from Husflied. It's made by someone there. And they usually get it at their confirmation, and they wear it for their confirmation and it's usually very, very beautiful. They also wear these for the 17th of May every year, as well as weddings and baptisms and any other special occasions. And the linen blouse that comes with it is very important, and it has to be treated well. And you wash it, and then it's very important that you rinse it seven times to get all the soap out, otherwise it will yellow your blouse. And I put mine out in the sun to let the sun bleach it for me so I don't have to worry about that. The, when you wear the costume, it should always be clean and in good repair. You'll find that many people are very particular about costumes, so if you wear the wrong jewelry or something doesn't look right, they will actually come up and, and tell you about it. And there are specific types of cilia, the jewelry that you see on the blouse that goes with each costume, and it's regionally oriented. And then there are shoes, there are specific buna shoes that you wear with stockings, and it also comes with a shawl and a cape and a hat, which I do not have. And it's lovely to look at and lovely to wear, except it's usually hot here on the 17th of May. <laughs> so every year on the 17th of May, Norwegians come out in hordes with their beautiful binader on, and they celebrate Norway's Constitution Day, which celebrates their disunion with Denmark. And it was very important to the Norwegian people because during World War II, when the Germans occupied Norway, they would not let them wear their bunas, they wouldn't let them parade, they couldn't sing their national anthem. And so the year that uh, the war was over, in 45, they were ecstatic to be able to hang their flags, wear their bunas, their parade together and sing.